Hey guys, Robbie here at RV Sales of Oregon on Highway 99 in Eugene. Uh, today I get to show you a 2004 Winnebago Vectra. This is a 40 foot diesel pusher with a Cummins ISC in the back. It's got a 350 horsepower rating. Great motors. Um, the more you look into them, the more you'll be impressed with them. Um, quiet, plenty of power, reliable motors is all you could ask for. Um, but really, this Vectra, the first time I walked into it, I'm not saying this just for the video, I thought this thing was three or four years old. I didn't realize it's 2004, and you'll see what I mean when we walk in. But uh, let's do a quick walk around the outside, and then I'll get to the inside with you. Um, two slides here on the driver's side is a three-slide rig, so of course that leaves you with one on the passenger side, if you guys are following along. Um, we got the nice diesel generator. That's an 8,000-watt owning quiet diesel. Of course, we have the air ride system, air brakes, beauty of the diesels. It's just... Drives like a bus, they're, they're wonderful. So you got the 22 and a halfs there. Um, the storage that comes out with your slide makes it a little bit easier to access things. You're not bumping your head on stuff, trying to get in there. And then that's all connected throughout. So it ends up being a good bit of storage. Um, your fuel tanks can be filled from both sides. You'll see one fuel door there. And when we're walking in on the other side, I'll point out the other one for you. Um, and throughout the coach, you'll see, so you have a slide topper awning on your slides and you also have window awnings covering all your windows. So um, depending where you are, it might not be a big deal for us. It's a big deal up here in the Pacific Northwest when it's raining and you get some fresh air in there. I imagine it can be down, say you're in Yuma, Arizona and it's hot, um, but you want some fresh air, you can shade yourself and still put those things out. Again, another one there. Um, simple stuff, you know, furnace exhaust, fridge exhaust. Um, let's take a look at some of this pass-through storage we got down here. Oh, pardon me, wrong bay. Um, this is your um, dump stations, everything like that. So easy access to your valves, outdoor shower, nice little soap dispenser. Your um, fresh water is on a reel there, so you're not spinning up a hose and piling it in there. Just once you go that way, it's hard to ever go back. Uh, you have the Santa flush system, which is going to clean your tanks out if you're storing it or just uh, like staying on top of your stuff, you can keep your tanks clean. Um, of course, bedroom awning here, or bedroom slide here with the slide topper awning. Here we have our shore power, uh, powered reel. Again, once you go this route, it might not be a big deal to you now, but if, if, if you've had one of these, you never go back to, to reeling it up. You don't ever want to, I guess. And then you have the 2000 watt inverter there for power and appliances going down the road. That'll run off, you know, batteries and alternator. So you can use, you know, TV outlets and thing, TVs and outlets and things like that while you're going down the road without needing to run a generator. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> Here you'll see a side mounted radiator. <coughs> Gosh, sorry. Um, and your uh, furnace exhaust. Side mounted radiator is great because it leaves you with a setup like this one where you have a huggable engine is always what I've called them, but you can access everything. Um, it's a mechanic's best friend and for anyone that does their own maintenance, it's uh, their best friend too. Uh, this is, like I said, it's Cummins ISC, 350 horse, um, about as good as it gets. I mean, they're, if you want more power, I guess you can go bigger, but, but reliability, these things are wonderful. Easy access to your air filter, oil filters, uh, fuel filters, everything like that. Um, if you can do the little bits of maintenance yourself, it'll save you money down the road. Um, 10,000 pound hitch there if you're towing a, a tow vehicle. I mean, you can tow, what, a Hummer behind you? Anything bigger than that, you might want to look into it. But uh, yeah, most tow vehicles are not going to be an issue back there or whatever it is you might be pulling. Trans cooler there. Let's see what we got in here. Just some nice batteries. Uh, low point drain makes it easy when it comes to winterizing, things like that, or just dumping your system for the for the winter or whenever you're doing it. Again, nice big slide awning here. Or pardon me, nice big window awning here with the cathedral windows. You'll see from the bedroom, these are awesome. They just kind of, they make the bedroom in my mind. As I mentioned on the other side, it's an air ride system. So of course it's not at ride height. That'll go up about three, four inches when you uh, are going into travel mode. And I'll just show you these bays here. Here's access. Um, to your basement there, but you'll see here you got speakers, stereo there. Um, this has actually been updated, so it's pretty, pretty much current. You know, it's got Bluetooth, Sirius XM, all that stuff. But those are easy if you wanted to go with something more expensive, I guess. But JVC is a good company, and then you have um, outlets for cable, 12 volt power, and 110 power there for outdoor entertainment. Let me open all these up, and you can check out basement storage. You'll see the big pass-through storage there. And then on this one, we have the Joey bed. It comes out almost all the way, about 60% of the way. 
and it does not pass through on this portion of it like it does there because you have your uh, your dump station on the far side. And then just a bit more storage here since I'm at it. I might as well show it all to you. A bit more storage there. And just some access to some important stuff, I'm sure. But uh, to give you an idea, I mean, it's, it's a full body paint coach. Something uh, you don't see on all Winnebago's, but just for the longevity of it, keep it looking newer a lot longer. Um, that gel coat also kind of works as a extra layer of insulation too, so that's wonderful. Um, hard to see with the slide where it is, but you have the nice big power awning that goes out over it, as well as the slide topper awning. And then this will end up being your best friend, having the door awning. Just keeps it dry right here, taking your shoes off, things like that, if you're trying to keep it tidy on the inside. But take a look at this thing, because I could not believe it was going on 16 years old or 17 years old when I walked in here. Now we're on a Freightliner chassis, um, Allison six-speed transmission. Um, I mean, you have everything you would norm to, uh, come to expect on a, uh, a nice diesel pusher. You have the exhaust brake, um, step cover there in front of the seat. Both of these chairs swivel. Again, it's an air brake, air ride system. So both of these guys will swivel. You have the electronic couch here. This is a recliner couch. I don't have power on right now, but just press a button and that comes out. Get a bit of storage. This is an aftermarket couch that they threw in, but you get some storage down below there. Um, here, I'll actually have you come over here and I'll show you this. But on the super nice storage space there, pots, pans, whatever it might be, but normally something you're struggling to find uh, storage for the big stuff. So you have it on this one, pulls out nice. Great construction, feels sturdy, feels strong. Uh, Corian type counters on here, solid service counters, not gonna swell if you spill something on them. Like uh, a lot of these newer ones are, where they're just press board and they swell and they're ruined. Um, pro uh, porcelain sink there, double den, good storage throughout here. You have the convection microwave oven here. So that'll double as your oven. Got a nice three burner propane stove. And then coming down this way, oh, I'm sorry, we do have the table here that leaves out and have a couple folding chairs to go with it. So you can dine four at the table fairly comfortably, five if you want to squeeze. Got the nice pantry that comes out here. And again, just like pointing out construction, they're solid woods. I mean, it's just, that's the stuff that makes these things last. That's why uh, a 2004 is on the road looking this good. Um, two in one fridge that's made by Norcold. So that's propane and electric. It looks to be about five cubic feet. Not the biggest, but by no means is it the smallest either. Should store a good amount of food for you. And then you have the ice maker up top. Um, Winnebago has been doing this so long and so consistently. They know how layouts need to be. And this is simple stuff that you learn to level on them. Easy access to thermostats. Your, uh, your, um, this thing, your control station. Pardon me. Um, just everything's right here. It just makes it a lot easier, especially when you're first getting acclimated to the coach, just knowing where everything is and it makes it just simpler knowing that it's all in one spot. Here we have just our little pocket door there, which is great. The way I typically would be using this bathroom is close both pocket doors, leave this bad boy open, shower, commode, all in one. Um, in the commode, you'll see there's good room i can sit down knees are nowhere near bumping um, i got space side to side of me uh the sink's right there obviously easy to get to porcelain toilet don't want plastic they just, they just don't want plastic um and then good size shower here close that and uh i'll open this up i'll hop in there give you a point of reference It's silly, I always get in the shower, but it's good to know how much space you have. So, again, plenty of head space, lots of elbow space, nice little spot to take a seat if I'm just too tired to shower standing up. And then, probably my favorite part of this coat. Whoops, didn't have this stage properly. This is where your couch goes. No, uh, the couch would typically go right here. We were cleaning carpets, so that's why it's up on the bed. But this is a queen size bed. It's actually a sleep number bed. Um, some people love them, some people don't, to each their own. But you got the sleep number bed there. You got the nice kind of nightstand here and the big cathedral windows that I absolutely love. Um, 
this is kind of from a different era back when uh, 2004 they were still using projection tv so a little bit bigger than it needs to be but they upgraded it with a flat screen there and you can always use a put a little cabinet door in there or something like that and use that space for more storage and then this here is plumb for a washer dryer right now it's just storage but that's a kind of a faux wall back there in the rear and take that down you can put a a two-in-one fridge most likely a splendid is probably what will be going in there um, and then you get your nice big closet in the back as well. Um, good storage there out there. Great storage above the bed. And then you get this nice closet here. Doo -doo -doo. And a great big uh, dresser down here. So it doubles as like a big dresser here. So nice. Put some big tall long shirts, things like that you want to hang up. And then sorry about the chair, but I'm just moving it. So you can see you have plugs on either side, whether you're using like CPAP machine or whatever you need power for at night um, in a stereo there to control radio, CDs, things like that. So you can control your music without having to go up to the front to do it. Um, but just a beautiful coach. Again, triple slide coach, full body paint, 40 foot, Winnebago Vectra. Um, really, I mean, it's in amazing condition. Um, solid oak woods almost completely throughout. I'm, I don't think it's entirely, but Oh, actually, you know what? I think it is because I, I haven't seen anything that wasn't yet. But again, guys, um, you know, there might be a couple things we want to change in here, but it's not much. I mean, this guy is just about perfect from where it came from. So it, it looks like it did. I'm sure just almost like it did when it was new, aside from the couch being changed. So if you guys are looking for something like this, we got it for a bargain. So again, it's a 2004 Winnebago Vectra. Um, it's a 40 footer. I already forget the model number. I apologize. I think, oh, 40 KD. That's what it is. Um, three, triple slide unit with uh, Cummins ISC in it, Allison, uh, six speed transmission. It, it's set and ready to go. Um, uh, we'll, we'll go through it, make sure that everything's working as it should, but this coach is darn near perfect as it stands, so it's not gonna take us much, but. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you for checking out the video. I'm sure I left a lot of good things out on this, so just reach out if you have any questions that I didn't mention to you. Um, stuff like the, Oh, here, that's important. Um, your water heater's gas and electric. Nice. And then you have heat pumps on the roof as well as uh, dual AC units. So uh, electric heat and you have uh, propane furnace throughout the floor too. So double options. Um, but I'm still sure I'm forgetting stuff. So anything beyond what I've mentioned, um, just reach out. I'm happy to answer any questions you have on it. Um, get you any more info that you need. Um, best case scenario, just come on in and see the thing. Um, I, I don't imagine I'm going to have this one long um, just for the quality and the price that I have it at and uh, the demand for these things right now. So anyway, guys, thank you for checking out this video on this 2004 Winnebago Vectra. Um, I look forward to talking to you guys soon and have a great day.